Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to, to go over the prep work that I do to prepare my hackle feathers uh, for the crappie jigs that I make. Um, so I'll show you how I cut these up and then how I layer them together. Uh, for tools, we're going to need our fine tipped pair of scissors. And supplies, we will need our uh, neck hackle feathers. Uh, I purchased these from Crazy Angler and, and I'll I'll put a link in the description for you. So we'll go ahead and grab uh, one feather out of our, our bag here. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to pluck that off there and get your single feather. All right, now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're gonna cut about an inch to an inch and a half down uh, and we're gonna get that very top part so grab your scissors and you'll want to very finely get in there and you can kind of see that you start to flatten them out and you have that v-shape that's what that's what you're looking for once you have that go ahead and snip it You see that you're left with that V-shape there, which is what we want. And then the feather that we just cut, get that to focus here. There you go. So we're gonna we need one of these, and then we also need one V-shape feather. So now we're gonna to take the remaining feather here, and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna about an inch to an inch and a half. We're gonna get in there where it starts to the shape like a V and snip that. And we can probably do that one more time on this feather. And then the rest of this, I, I typically, I throw it away. All right, now that we trimmed up our feather, we're left with uh, three pieces. We have our our very tip that we cut off. We have two V-shaped feathers and what I like to do is I like to layer them for when I throw them on the jig or tie them on the jig. So I'll do that really quick and kind of show you what that looks like. It'll end up looking something about like that when you tie it on. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section and I'll do the best I can to, to answer them. Thank you.